as the Buddha said, one of the signs of a wise person is you realize your mind needs to be trained. The sign of a fool is someone who doesn't realize that, doesn't see any need for that. Can, they say they can find happiness out in the world. Their minds are perfectly fine as they are, thank you. But that's the sign of a fool, because if your mind isn't trained, you can take the happiness of the world and create a lot of suffering out of it, both for yourself and the people around you. If your mind is trained, then no matter what the situation is outside, the mind can find happiness within. So this is why we sit here and meditate. This is why we focus on the breath, because the mind needs training. To go through a life without a trained mind is like having an untrained puppy in your house. It can make all kinds of messes, and it gets bigger and bigger, and it gets worse and worse as time goes on. So you focus on the breath, and then keep the mind on the breath. If it wanders off, you keep bringing it back, bringing it back. Wants to go off and have an opinion about this, an opinion about that, you say, no, I've got more important work right here. Because as long as the mind isn't trained, you're in a dangerous position, because you can't really trust yourself. The trained mind is the one that has mindfulness and alertness. Mindfulness is the ability to keep something in mind, and alertness is the ability to watch over what's actually happening. And if those qualities aren't developed, your mind can come up with all kinds of strange ideas, strange ideas for what to do, what to say, to think, and start acting on them without really consulting anybody inside. It just goes on its own. There's nothing to hold it back. That's how the mind can create a lot of suffering. So you have to realize we don't have time to waste. We've got to focus on the mind right now, get the mind in shape right now. That should be our top priority. Because <laughs> everything good in life comes out of the mind. A lot of the bad things in life come out of the mind as well. We tend to think of goodness and the bad things in life as coming from outside. But that's not really the case. It's how you handle those things that makes all the difference. It's like those fish they have in Japan. If a person who is not skilled fixes the fish, the poison in the fish can kill you. That's the person who really knows how to remove the poison from the fish. And then it's okay. And it's the same with life. There's, there's a lot of poison in the life. A lot of greed, aversion, and delusion outside, and it meets up with a greed, and aversion, and delusion inside and gets things going who knows where. So if you know how to remove the poison from inside the mind, okay, then you can deal with things outside as well. You can see, oh, that's poison. You don't touch it. You remove it. And then you can live with what's left without causing anybody any harm, not for yourself or for other people. So this principle of training the mind is number one priority, or should be number, part, number one priority, for anyone who really wants happiness, who wants a happiness that's secure, a happiness that's reliable. Because you can't depend on other people to provide your happiness. If you yourself can't provide happiness for yourself, how can you depend on other people to do it for you? They've got their own problems. They've got their own agendas. So try to take, take care of your mind as you go through the day, not just while you're sitting here with your eyes closed. But make this a, a constant process of looking after the mind, being mindful of what's skillful and what's not. And, the, the desire to do what's skillful and to drop what's unskillful. That should always come as number one priority.